Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you some more Let's Play Technopolis to Skyblock. So we, we left off last time we were making basic technium. We have a bunch now. These oak planks, I've went ahead and I've just left these guys in here. It's super duper easy. Both of the jerry cans come through. They're spit out underneath the sneaky hopper. And what we can do is we can just refill these guys like this empty out the entire jerry can and then launch it right back through the system we are making so much creosote that we don't even need these planks anymore so this one shot right through because it, it's already full guys that's how fast we are making treated wood we don't need all of this treated wood so this is one of those that's definitely going to need a void upgrade in the future so one goes through and then we have the coal blocks and instead of tossing them over the edge, I've just been filling them in here. We, we really, we have too much treated wood. I might even go as far as using treated wood as a, uh, as a decorative block, just because we have so much of it. We're going to let these guys keep going. We have so much coal coke. It is awesome. What's even more awesome is this episode is recorded the same day as the other episode. So we've capped out at 2048.10. We have 64 of these basic techniums ready for us and 15 still. I used some of them to make tech bucks just to make a slave drawer. And this guy serves no purpose. It's just for symmetry, guys. <laughs> so today, what we're going to do is we have completed all of basic tech. All of these are green. We are now finally in advanced tech and we're going towards iron and aluminum. So for that, we need to make a book. We need four basic technium and four bronze blocks. I also alloyed a ridiculous amount of bronze. So let's see, is that enough to make us four blocks? Yes, it is. One, two, three, four. And a paper. I wish I could scroll wheel these guys out. And we need to put them in like this, right? With Technium, it's a pretty expensive book if you think about it that way. But now we can bust open this guy. We have iron and aluminum. And let's see what we can do. We can go into our, what was it, research papers, ores are us. We're going to turn off copper and tin. So disable copper and tin. Enable iron and aluminum. Okay, so we still have the prospector's pickaxe. We can come up here and grab, let's go two, let's grab three stacks. One stack for the breaking and two stacks for the crafting. So I already went ahead and I made three more frames of uh, tier four support. I moved the gravel, the clay, and the sand out of the way in preparation for this episode. So Iron and aluminum are going to be put in the straight line so that they can start getting smelted. Everything is set and ready for this. So let's go ahead and put out all 64 of these guys, mine them up, and that should give us all of the little bits that we need in order to make 36 of both of these ores. So let's hope that is all of the aluminum and all of the iron that we need and a stack of aluminum yep there we go we have iron we have aluminum and we have even more fragments that we can use colored stone or stone whichever one to fill in so we'll do iron first and then aluminum because i feel iron is going to be way more important to gather than the aluminum but I may be wrong. So let's go ahead and put up the iron miner here where the other miner used to be. I even left the miner up top so that uh, it will start as soon as we drop these guys down. So boom, we have iron going and we can bust out the conveyor belts, get these guys going across. It still has the coal caps. And how are we? Yeah, we're doing iron. Nice. And then we'll do the same thing with aluminum back here. All right. And I went ahead and I smashed a whole lot more so that we have a good chunk of ores to start working with. 
Oh, and what I totally forgot is the aluminum, the iron is going to clog the system unless we put them here. And let's see, do they need the block form shown? Yes, we need to do the block before we put it up. So let's do this real quick. Boop. And boop. All right. And we're going to do, let's see, let's just put them along the bottom. We'll put aluminum here. And then I believe the iron is stuck. So let's see. Correct. Iron is stuck. Now we have that quest. And we have this quest. Yes. Block of iron. And we can put the iron in a drawer right next to this guy right here. So let's go iron right there. Because right now the only thing that it's smelting is the coal ore and the aluminum and iron. So let's go ahead and put the iron and the aluminum in. There we go. We still have light gray in here, but that doesn't matter. We have tin, we have bronze. That's excess. We have coal coke. This stuff's coming in. We're going to have some iron to work with this episode. And let's see. We are getting all of the quests. We have even more iron and aluminum and some tech bucks. Let's put this in here. And then let's see. What do we need to do next? We need to do the blast brick for the blast oven. And then also tier 5 support frames. That's pretty cool. So we're already jumping to tier 5 so that we can get the fluid absorber. And the first thing we're going to do with fluid absorber is the lava absorber as soon as we get down here to redstone. That is one of our milestones that I'm hoping to get. We have two quests. This one requires, what, six? So let's go ahead and grab our iron that we have so far. They both look so similar. So we have iron. Let's go ahead and grab the 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 aluminum just in case. All right. And it's nighttime. So I'm throwing stuff off the edge again, and this always freaks me out a little bit. We should unlock trash cans today while we're at it, uh, but let's get to redstone as fast as possible. So we need rails. Oh, and actually, let me open this up in the handheld crafting table. So we need one set of rails. We're just going to make one set of 16 because it is a, a pretty big waste right now on iron. And then let's go ahead and surround this guy. And we'll only make one craft of three for right now. Just because I want to see how much iron we need to progress in the quest book right now. It looks like we don't need to make the fluid absorber right now. So I'm going to let the iron build up. For the blast brick, we need 27 in total. So three crafts. So only three coke bricks. And so only one craft. Okay, so we, we only need four. One, two, three, four. And let's see, where did we leave these guys? One, two, three, four. All right. And bricks and coke brick and blast brick. Let's see, what was the recipe for blast brick again? So we need the aluminum and the brick. Perfect. All right, so three of each. Uh, so let's just grab this stack here. We'll do plus and three. So we have 27 of the blast brick for the blast furnace already. That is is pretty cool. So let's go ahead. We can't sneaky hopper this guy. So let's set this guy up right here so he can peek through. And bim, there we go. We'll toss in some of our coal coke and we'll toss in our iron because, let's see, that is, we need two. There we go. 24. So we'll go ahead and make some steel. This guy is creating steel very fast. I'm actually impressed by this. This is pretty cool. We need steel. We need steel block. And then we need the research book. Wow. So 9, 18, 27, 36. We need 36 steel to be able to progress towards this book. Okay, so let's see where we're at. We can collect these guys. We need steel. We need steel block. And we need four steel blocks to progress. And we are at 52. Very nice. So that gives us credit for this. Then we can swing it around like this. One, two, three, four. We're going to have to grab another one of our papers. And then we should be able to make the book. So we have a paper. And we got to make some more papers later on. And we should have the redstone book. So let's see right here and plus and redstone. Sweet. Submit. 
and we have more quests. Nice. Oh, we get steel back. That's cool. So now we're finally at redstone. And I did notice that the steel has a really good modifier number on it of 110. But as soon as we get to redstone, redstone's going to have a modifier number of only 90. So we're going to go for that and for the production of lava. That is what we're going to end the episode off on. We'll probably buy the trash can along the way. So let's go ahead. We have redstone now in our ability to make maybe i shouldn't disable iron and aluminum i'll go ahead and i'll deal with all of the extra iron and aluminum oh and let's see redstone ore what does it require okay it requires a tier 5 support frame so we need to make what is it 32 of the support frames for this guy as well There we go, redstone fragments, and use plus. There we go, we got redstone dust. We put some of it in here before completing, and I put it in the drawer so that it doesn't get stuck in our hopper. All right, we have the 36 redstone ore. We have the tier five support frames that we need. Let's see, structure placer, placing miner. We'll go ahead and put it, should we put it in the front or in the back right now? We'll put it in the back. And then of course, for this guy to function properly, we have to replace this one side here with iron so that all of it matches the frame that's required to pick up that one block. All right, so we'll put the redstone down right here at the end. And I'm not going to attach this guy to the conveyor system because I feel like the redstone will definitely clog the uh, wooden hopper that we have going on. So we're going to catch this guy manually right now. And instead of making two more of these coal blocks, we're going to upgrade now to the redstone blocks. We've manually made 76 redstone so far. Makes me really, really happy. Let's go ahead and make four for right now and save the rest of our redstone. And we'll go ahead and replace the caps to the redstone with uh, redstone caps so that it comes in a lot faster. There we go. And we'll replace these two blocks of coal. And what's awesome is we can repurpose these to go back into our system so that they will continue burning. Where'd that block go? Did it fall? One of my blocks disappeared, but look at that. Current tick rate is 90. That is pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and drop these guys in to the furnace so that it can start on these. And then we can repurpose this block of coal back down, put it back in here. That'll go back into the system, which is full. Cool. So this drawer is going to start filling up. We need void upgrades. That's really important. That's why I kept these redstone dust on the side because with the redstone dust, that is how we're going to start making these lava buckets. And we need 36 to make ourselves a fluid absorber, which is going to absorb the lava and generate lava for us. So let's see, do we have enough iron? Let's grab all of our iron. We need one bucket like this. Finally, we have metal buckets and we need four of these guys. There we go. So we have four. And then what else do we need? We just need four pieces of stone. So let's go ahead and grab that. And then we should be able to start putting down our fluid absorber. So we need to craft the fluid absorber. And of course, we need 36 lava source blocks. So this guy's running on sticks right now because I've pulled a couple of these guys out to start supplying the uh, coke ovens. We have our buckets that we need for lava. And this is going to be the tedious part. We have to make the redstone come in so that we can have all of these buckets of lava now. So let's make this fluid absorber so that we can get our epic sound effects. Yay. Love that sound. We got our fluid absorber. I'm going to make these guys one at a time instead of shift clicking them so that we don't cl clutter our inventory. To put this guy down now that we completed this uh, chapter, we completed iron and aluminum, we have to put down another tier 5 support frame. So I don't want to put a fluid in the middle of all of our processing over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down somewhere else 
And let's see, let me grab these five. I don't think we have enough redstone to make the rest of the buckets anyways. So what should we do on the outside? Now that we have iron, do we have access to the glass blower from chipped? We should, it's bricks, logs, a blast furnace, iron ingots, smooth stone. Yeah, we should be able to make the glass blower now. All right, so crafting table, four logs, bricks, and glass blower. Perfect. And let's grab a stack of glass that I've already smelted. We have another one of these guys that looks pretty cool. Oh, I like it. And now we can make this glass have texture on it. And putting the texture on it is going to make it so that it can be mined up again, which I like a lot. So what color would look good with a white tier five support frame. We're gonna have red caps. I guess adding red, white, and blue would be the best bet, or maybe black, maybe black. Let's try something crazy. Let's go for these square leaded glass. We can always change it back later if we feel like it. All right, and I'm looking for the tank or the fluid hopper, and it does not look like it's in the system right now. So let's go ahead and unlock what we're going to do next episode, which is going to be little logistics. I absolutely can't wait to play with this train mod. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and unlock it today to see if it will give us a tank or a fluid hopper. So we'll do that. Go in here and submit. There we go. I can read up on it in between. Train cars, steam tugs, rapid hoppers, and of course the steam locomotive. I'm looking forward to playing with this mod. I'm going to dedicate an entire episode to it. So with that, how are we on hoppers now? We have an extra hopper, a wooden hopper, fluid hopper. There you go. So we have the fluid hopper that we can use from Little Logistics. That does not look like a tank, though. Let's see, does Little Logistics also have a tank? It does. It has the fluid tank train car and the barge. Okay, so it has to be that. It has to be the fluid hopper is the tank itself. So let's see. Tank. One more train car. No, that's just a glass tank. Tank barge. That's just empty. Okay. So it has to be the fluid hopper. So we can finally make regular hoppers. We'll make a fluid hopper. And how does this look when it's put down? Yes, that is the tank. So the hopper, it can go in here and out here. And I do believe it can go the opposite direction as well. All right, so we should have the glass we need, the building blocks we need, the tier five support frames, the fluid absorber and the fluid hopper. So let's go ahead and head back. I'm going to do all of my fluids on this platform over here. So let's see, we're going to do placing minor frame and I don't want it to be all the way at the edge. So that's going to be, let's see, one, two, three. That's going to be lava source block space right here should be good. And, oh, man, it used the tier four instead of the tier five. So I have to tear this thing back down. So right here. Okay, good. That's where I want it. We're going to build this guy up layer by layer because we have to do this goofy thing with the lava not escaping. So the bottom row is going to be easy. The other blocks are going to be the annoying ones. So let me free up some space. I'll put these back in just a second. Here we go, and I have enough redstone for us to craft more lava buckets. So this is going to be the annoying part. Every single one of these is going to break. Boom, boom. The middle block, there we go. Let me not forget that one. This one, this one, this one, and then two more. Okay, so now we're going to start crafting these guys um, more or less, not all at the same time, but slowly. So one here, one here, and this should complete the bottom row. Right there. All right. Now, 
next row. And this one is the funky one. Block all this in. All right, we need to put a placeholder block against the wall and then drop the middle block first. That one is the important one. Now we can break this and it can get destroyed. That doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and keep filling this guy up until we're at the top. Right, and our last source block right there. Perfect. So now we have this guy up and running. Let's go ahead and put our ceiling on here real quick so that we don't do something derpy and fall inside. And of course the fluid absorber has to go right here in the middle. There we go. That one shows that it's working and we'll cover this guy up so that we don't fall in. And the reason why I like this glass so much is there you go. You can mine it back up and of course it'll fall out of our reach. And the idea that I have is we'll do the fluid hopper here, right? Yes, because that's where I want the nozzle to be. And as you can see, it's already filling up with lava. It has 100 millibuckets inside. We'll grab this piece and we will see we have 11 pieces of redstone. I really want to get the four redstone caps on this guy so that it can produce lava faster because I am stuck now. I need void upgrades because the conveyor system keeps clogging up with the hoppers. Even if I change it to a metal hopper, it will still fill up the bottom five slots and still get stuck. It doesn't matter that it's only one compared to five. We need void upgrades for stuff like redstone. We're going to be making a lot of redstone. And if I wanted auto smelting, I don't want everything stuck on redstone. Same thing on the other side with lapis. I'll be able to switch out all of the caps with redstone at some point uh, with the lava that I can bucket out of this guy now, right? Can I just bucket straight out? Oh, I can't bucket it right out of it. Oh no, how am I going to get it out? All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and put the caps on these guys make it faster. Of course, coal is going to be the one that takes priority. Coal is going to need the redstone caps first because I want to build up on my coal supply. This one, I'm not 100% sure how to get it out of the fluid hopper right now, but the surprise I have for you guys is going to be next episode. We're going to be doing little logistics. This is the reason why I want to play this mod pack. I wanted to play with these trains. I am super excited to have a train running around my base. And with this one, we're going to do the fluid tank train car. And we're going to use that guy to take our lava out of this. We're going to have him on a choo-choo train going through here. I'm excited about that. I'll leave that in here. What I'm going to do is either way, I'm going to have to deal with these buckets. Because we cannot generate obsidian yet. The obsidian for void upgrades requires the diamond tier 7 support frames. We don't have those yet. I'm just going to go ahead and do the painstakingly annoying, which we've already established in the first episode. I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, dumping water on lava to get all of the obsidian that I need in order to make the void upgrades, and I'm going to go in order of, I believe, redstone, lapis, and then the ingots. So this, this you guys don't have to suffer through. I'm going to do this one at a time. We've already established that the prospector's pickaxe can mine these guys up very, very slowly. So I might make a 3x3, three three, dump water on it, and then vein mine so that I can make a void upgrade each time, but this is going to take me a while. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to show your appreciation and consider leaving a boom in the comment section below. Also, click on my dude here to subscribe for more Let's Plays. Ooh.